Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god. We've just had one lot of family leave and in the next couple of days we've got more family coming and um, my mum and I have just sort of been cleaning up the house <laughs> and we've got in trouble for not dusting something properly. Anyway, I won't go on about that, but yeah, excuse my voice as well. I'm going to be talking to you all about BMI. So that just means body mass index. And basically it is determined by your weight in kilograms divided by your height in meters. Um, I must be the gardener. So, um, yeah, I recently got my height um, checked and I found out I'm 164 kilograms. And generally I know each like five to 10 years you're gonna put on weight and stuff like that. That's just the way life is. Um, and I know that I need to be between 50 and 55 kilos. So that's just um, a healthy weight range for me. If I'm anything over that, um, I feel like fat, but I'm probably not. And it's just, you know, we've just had Christmas and stuff like that. So it's all the Christmas eating. So I started back on my uh, healthy diet routine. I just hope I can stick with it. And I've also started back into exercising because I had like about a week or two off. So BMI estimates whether you are underweight healthy weight, overweight, or obese, based on your height and weight. So that's why I was sort of talking about my height and weight there. Um, doctors, dietitians, and other health professionals use BMI as an indication of your risk of chronic disease. BMI is only relative to people 18 years and over, so men and women. With children, they must use some other sort of procedure or program or something like that. I thought it was both for children and adults, but obviously it's not. Uh, why is a healthy BMI important? Being overweight or obese increases your risk of several health problems, including type 2 diabetes. I watched this program the other day called The Weight of a Nation, and it was talking about children and adults being overweight and obese, obese and what sort of um, uh, diseases are related to being overweight and obese. Type 2 diabetes was one, and I think heart failure was another one. Um, stroke some types of cancer, mental health problems, so including depression, anxiety, and psychological distress. The documentary was, it was interesting in parts, boring in parts, a little bit gross in parts. So um, yeah, that's just, I liked it, but yeah, just parts of it were a little bit boring and yeah, a little bit gross. But um, I think it's like a three part series. I'll link the title of the documentary in case you want to check it out yourself. And I'll also link this website in the description bar as well, which is mydoctor.com.au. Actually, I'll just show you the front page. So that's what it looks like there. Um, it's also got here, which I won't go into too much detail. BMI is not suitable for everyone. It's got. Um, BNI measures may not be suitable for all population groups. For example, they've got Aboriginal people here, Asian people, and Pacific Islanders. I won't go into too much detail about why. Um, you guys can read that if you so wish. BMI classification. Okay, so there are four. If you are, if you have a BMI of less than eighteen point five, you are underweight. It probably doesn't necessarily mean you're anorexic. It just probably means that you need to eat more to maintain a healthy weight range. BMI of 18.5 to 24.9, you're in a healthy range. I'm generally somewhere in between this range. Although after Christmas, probably not. <laughs> um, a BMI of 25 point, sorry, a BMI of 25 to 29.9, you're overweight. A BMI of 30 or more, you are obese. So if you are in either of those categories, um, and you're just getting really fed up about you know not being able to lose weight or trying to maintain your weight um go to your doctor that's the best bit um and yeah they'll be able to give you advice they may refer you to a dietitian and the dietitian may put you on some sort of meal plan so you can sort of start off with that and then eventually you may get a like a personal trainer or um join a sport sporting club or something like that you don't have to do strenuous exercise to lose weight. You can just walk around your neighborhood for like 30 minutes a day. I would start off with 30 minutes a day and then um, as you get, um, I guess, more into it and you start to get a little bit more active and your body gets used to like moving around and stuff like that, um, add on like five minutes um, like each month. So say for January, you do 30 minutes a day, every day of walking. 
once February hits, you go, right, I've got to do an extra five minutes. So 35 minutes, March, 40 minutes, etc., etc., until you get used to um, doing stuff like that. But just find something that works for you. I mean, I've mentioned this time and time again, jogging, hiking, walking, all work for me. Um, and, yeah, you can lose weight by walking or even swimming. Swimming is a good, um, what do you call it, exercise to do as well because it's light on your joints and stuff like that. Actually, I should start swimming while it's still summer but um yeah i don't think i have too much more to say um and yeah that documentary i think it's like a three part series i've only watched watched the first episode so um i'm hoping to watch at least one more um one more today at least and um yeah there's so much noise going on outside the noise going on um yeah Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Sorry. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and I'll see you guys in my next video.